took me almost dying to stop and go, hey, this isn't worth it. Being big is not worth dying. You're taking drugs. You're trying to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and you're getting sicker and sicker and sicker. That's bigorexia. What's the right way, um, technically speaking, what's the right way if you want to bulk up but you don't want to get too much fat? Like, what's the right way? Is it carb cycling? Is it doing fasted cardio in the morning? What's the right approach to doing that if, you know what I mean, if you're also getting also fat at the same time, if you're trying to bulk up and eat a lot? You know, what's the right approach to that? Um, what I found that, that uh, works well for me is um, a, lot of, a lot of good food, 95% of the time, and then another 5% letting myself have a little extra. Because when you have some, some food that, that's, like, let's just call it dirty food, um, but very um, inconsistent with it. So, like, you know, once a week or once every 10 days, your body, like, holds on to that. And, um, but if you do it too often, you slow your metabolism down because there's no way you can eat consistently enough. You know, you eat a cheesesteak. You're not hungry for like five hours because it takes you, it's too hard for your body to break it down and what to do with it. Um, we eat, you know, but if you're, if you have six meals of, let's say for simplicity, chicken and rice, you're hungry. Even if you eat two and a half cups of rice, you're still hungry. And once your metabolism is gone, you're still hungry in two and a half hours because your body knows what to do with the food. Yeah. There's nothing in there that's making your body go, well, okay, what, what do we need to do with this? Um, now you do that consistently and then every once in a while you throw in burger and fries or you know something with a little bit more fat in it um all of a sudden you're going your body's holding on to all that uh, holding on to the weight long you know in the right place in the right place so that seemed to work are you strict when it comes to seasoning and also like spices and condiments like even ketchup or doing like seasoning in, in, your, in your food are you are you cautious of that that's funny you just said that because uh, we just talked about it on my podcast, Big Talk, last night. <laughs> um, it's funny because I, I tell people condiments can ruin your entire diet. Um, you know, you can load up 150 extra calories a day, even more, just doing condiments. So when it's time for prep, we're using is yellow mustard, um, hot sauce, and uh, a, a no-calorie hot sauce, no-calorie soy sauce. Um, so I don't ketchup, even like ketchup is ketchup is no good, right? It has a lot of calories in it, right? A lot of sugar too. No, I don't. I don't believe in doing a whole bunch of ketchup. The reduced sugar I'll do probably till like six weeks out. Um, but um, uh, Stubbs has that no calorie um, ketchup now, and it's, it actually tastes good. Like Walden Farms ketchup tastes like trash, but the Stubbs <laughs> the Stubbs uh, sugar free ketchup, zero calorie ketchup tastes actually pretty good. So, um, you know, but I don't believe in doing a lot of that stuff, especially like the closer you get to the show, you got to cut a lot of that stuff out. Um, if you're doing that all the time, it's, you know, it's just, it's not good for all artificial sweeteners and things. They're not good for your gut biome, you know, and all the things that help you break down food efficiently. That's why I like to take those things out as we get closer. Um, first experience two weeks out from the Dallas Europa, all I used was salt and lemon juice for, for all my food that's it nothing else and by doing that my skin was just thinner than it's ever been and my stomach was more importantly my stomach was flatter so i don't think that had much to do with my skin but i think my stomach being flatter than it's ever been that was a big part of that mm -hmm. now what about do you do uh, carb cycling like um one day a lot of carbs one day no carbs you do that since being with chris yes um we do in the off season, not so much, but um, when we were prepping, yeah, it would be like three days low, two days moderate, and one day like super high, maybe. And then, and then you know, it's not it's not already planned out. It's kind of like what the body's telling me to do. You know, like when you're looking at somebody, like you go three days low, and, and you're like, oh, they're still, still looking good. They're still dropping. Let's go another two days and then send me pictures in two days. Um, you know. Then they maybe, you know, you go 
ah, they look too flat. Let's do a high day. We'll follow with two moderate days, semi picks in three days. You know, so you just you're just playing. With, as long as they keep going in the right direction, if they have a drastic drop in weight, then you know you need to throw some calories in there because it's not a skinny contest. It's about being um, hard. So you got to have good muscle density to be hard. Sure. Now, what, what did you take on cardio? Well, do you do fasted cardio? How you know how long you usually do it for? And like, what's the way the treadmill, stairmaster? Well, when I was with George, I don't think I ever did for more than forty minutes. Um, with Chris, <laughs> I mean, it might be an hour and hour and forty minutes. You know, um, yeah, like he, he, I had cardio upon cardio upon cardio. In the morning, yeah. in the morning, like when, when you wake up. Yeah, yeah, in the morning, in the morning. Fasted. I mean, I know all the science says that it doesn't matter what time of day you do it. Um, you're still burning the same amount of calories throughout the day, but. Man, I tell you, anecdotal evidence tells me time and time again that it makes a difference. When you do it in the morning fasted, it just, it just, you do, you get more out of it. You know, like I've seen it through hundreds and hundreds of clients. I mean, thousands at this point. And, you know, I know it's like, I'm, I'm, we see, you know, so. For sure. What about, um, a lot of people take, like, in the morning when they wake up, they take uh, apple cider vinegar with water. Um, does that do anything at all, or is it just a myth? I think it helps in digestion. It's a good, powerful antioxidant. Um, apple cider has so many benefits to it. Again, like the gut bond, where everything's working and processing and digesting properly. I think apple cider vinegar is definitely, you know, nature's medicine, for sure. I think it's been a it's definitely your immune system.